Hello Zebrahurd, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we are heading towards another gym leader. This one, of course, is all the way in the very bottom left of the map, right over here. It's the only one in the section we haven't done, then everything is just sort of up north. So I figure it's a good one to tackle for right now. Way down here is the Alphernada gym leader, um, whose name is Tulip. So, this psychic type user is a real force, even among gym leaders. She runs a cosmetic brand, which she also models for, and she aims to be the very best in everything she does, including battle. All right then, so that sounds pretty cool to me. I think we can handle it. Psychic types are weak to um, dark type Pokemon, which we do have Meowskerada, which is um, technically a grass dark type, so I think we can handle this overall pretty well. And if we zoom out a little bit, where could we maybe start from? and work our way over. We could either go from this way or that way. Obviously, we've explored a lot of this area, so I don't think we'll, we really need to worry about it too much. I think we can just start on this path and work our way over. Hopefully, there's some stronger Pokemon as we get closer so that we can train up our Pokemon a little bit more, but I think I'll do the same thing that I've been doing in previous episodes, is whichever Pokemon I think I'm going to front run, I'm going to just sort of increase their level with a couple of experience candies before the fight. So that should help out a ton. But yeah, we should be good just to sort of get started on our adventure. Um, I don't think I marked it, did I? So let me make sure it's marked. I don't think it is. So, you know, we'll just set that as our destination. That way, just everything on this map is sort of, or this side of the map is cleared out. We don't have to worry about it as much. Oh, I hear a gimme ghoul coin, hold on. Trying to find as many of those as I can. And there it is. Of course, on our way, we'll be trying to find whatever, ah, <laughs> didn't even see you. Any kind of, uh, What's it called? Any new Pokemon, anything that we can um, battle against in a raid, all that kind of stuff is gonna be great. But after this battle, I think we'll just throw out our Pokemon normally and just have them fight like that. But the best way to do that would be to put Meowskarata back out. All right then, so Rockruff is defeated. Obviously, like I said before, the Pokemon here aren't very high level. So I think it'll be some pretty easy going stuff if we put you to the front. And just whenever we see a group of them, is there any Pokemon nearby? We just sort of throw them at them. And we'll get some extra materials, extra experience, it's overall a good thing. But there might be, yeah, I know of you. Are we still going the right way? Yeah, sort of. It just sort of ends here. Is this a cave? Have we gone through this cave before? Honestly, can't quite remember. I don't think so. Because that whole path is new to us, so this is interesting. We'll get a bunch of Pokemon we can battle there. I do see over this way there's a Pokeball to grab. That's gonna have a super potion. That's always good. Yeah, cause right down there, of course, is where the bug gym was. I do remember that much. What do we got here? Oh, just a little uh, grasshopper. Yeah, nothing really new around here, unfortunately, but that's okay. That just means there's extra things we can earn experience with. But there might be some new trainers down this way. Like, what about you? Let's now scrot it down that way. I won't lose, we'll see about that. I won't lose, in terms of being energetic anyway. Okay, well that, that I can see for sure. You seem very energetic. You're joined by youngster Tristan. All right, Tristan, let's see what you got. Salandit, ooh, okay, haven't seen Salandit yet, so that's always fun. And what level, level 17. So we can handle this pretty easily, we'll just use the Night Slash. There you go, sorry Salandit. Okay, so with that, then we should def defeat this trainer nice and easy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm still more energetic than you. I'm indefinitely possible. I don't know how you judge such a thing. For kids like me, being energetic is just part of who we are. Well, I'm glad. Hope you're happy with that. So let let's go and just throw out some more. We'll keep going down. I'm hoping that as we get closer to the gym though, it'll be higher level, because a lot of you told me this one's higher level, but I think I'm sort of in the zone where I can handle it now. Anyways, over this way we've got a revive and another trainer. I hope I don't fall. I hope you don't fall either. Don't want to sneak up on you and make you fall over. Ah, you scared me. What, a battle? Yeah, okay, sure. I wonder if I could glide down there. That would be cool. You're challenged by Nicholas the Scientist. All right, let's step away from the edge before we maybe start our battle. Ooh, it's Ditto. Whoa, awesome. But what level is it? It's still pretty low at level 17. We can just do a Night Slash, and that should just finish it off in one hit. But we caught our own Ditto earlier in the series, so it's really cool to see some more of them. Okay, so that's almost level 42 for Talonflame. 
I'm glad that scare didn't make me fall. Me too. All right then, hello. Even if you fall from high up, your rotom phone will save you. If you can't get back to where you fell from, just call Flying Taxi uh, using your map app. You can see there's quite a lot down there. I'm definitely excited to poke around a little bit more, but we might save it for later. I'll send Miyaskarada back out. And we're just not seeing, oh, come on. I thought I could get past you there. Uh, I might just run just to save time in the interest of saving time. There you go. Do some stuff like that. I get an energy root out of that too, so that's pretty cool. Whoa, I didn't even see you. No, no, no. Okay, it didn't work, it didn't work, that's good. Uh, so I don't wanna deal with it. Get a great ball. Yeah, I'm not even seeing any kind of like terror rates around here, which is a little unfortunate in ether, but then there's another trainer. So the trainers are good money. The area up ahead is dangerous. Oh, is it? The area up ahead is dangerous. The Pokemon there are super strong. That's exactly what I want to see. I mean, we just had a route that had level 50 Pokemon not too long ago. So we'll see how much more dangerous this could be. We got Pincurchin, which I think now Skirata can handle just by doing a, um, a Night Slash. There we go, perfect. Yeah, we're, we're getting somewhere with this, that's great. And then we go, we get level 42 for uh, Talonflame. It was you I should have been scared of. I guess so. The cave up ahead has lots of scary Pokemon. If they're too strong to handle, you should turn around and come back. Definitely, but I think we can handle it. We'll see in just a moment. I'll grab this little item, and we have Alphernada. You won't make it on foot. Well, give me the Gimme Ghoul coin. We won't make it on foot. Ooh, we do have new Pokemon here, though. This is a, uh, oh, I forget its name right now but I guess we'll see in just a moment. Super cute, it is a Metatite. So it's level 39, we can handle these guys for sure then. So let's just Night Slash it for now. Oh, and that's a critical. Okay, uh, not really what I wanted, but that's okay. We, we could just go again in a moment, but still, cool to see anyone. Now you don't see me, so this is where we can have a better chance. We call Metatite off guard. Maybe this time I won't land a critical. If I don't land a critical, how much? Oh, it'll still bring it down all the way. Okay. <laughs> Maybe now is where we switch Pokemon to um, Palmot. That might be for the better if we want to actually catch some of these guys. You know, our whole team is still getting experience and stuff, even then. So, here we go. So, I definitely want to catch whatever new Pokemon we stumble across throughout the game. Um, let's try Nuzzle. Ooh, that was pretty good. If we could hit that again. I think that'd be overall a nice move. So of course it was cut off, cut off guard. Darn, not quite. It's always a critical when I don't need it to be. Whoa, is that not Toxic Croak? We had that Pokemon in um Sword and Shield. I forget what it's called right now. Toxtricity. Whoa, what what was that look? Uh, <laughs> are we caught Toxtricity off guard? This is so cool. All right then, so we definitely want to battle and nuzzle you. But we got toxicity in Sword and Shield. It's not very effective, but it does a paralyze you. Caught call off guard and couldn't move. You know what, then let's just try Spark, just to lower your health more. There we go. Not very effective, that doesn't matter too much. They're using toxic, they're a poison toxic Pokemon. And Palmont was badly poisoned. I'm pretty sure we had toxicity, we at least caught it. I think it might have been on our team. I can't remember right now, actually. Maybe not. Uh, let's throw an Ultra Ball to see if we can't catch it this way. All right, come on. Will be our first catch of the day. It won't be. Darn. Okay, so I might just keep nuzzling them to lower the health even more. Okay, so we're getting poisoned a little bit here. I'm not too worried about it. I think I just want to lower it a little bit more if possible. Maybe even more than that. It's gonna use Screech on us, but Palmot avoided it, that's great. One more time, should be good, right? As long as it's not a critical. Okay, perfect, we're in the red now with it. So that's exactly what we're looking for as they use Discharge on us, but that shouldn't be very effective, yeah. It's more so the poison chipping away at poor little Palmot here. We haven't even found the thing that uh, Toxicity evolves from. Come on, this has gotta be it. 
There, no, come on, it was so close. I honestly believed it. Okay, discharge again. I think Palmont might get knocked out here, but if we want to, we can switch over to Oink alone and put you to sleep. I think that might just be our best move for the time being. Um, so let's do that. Choose X Pokemon, go to Oink alone, swap in, and with Oink alone, we will uh, just put you to sleep. Battle, yawn, that's what we're talking about. So they're gonna get real drowsy here, and then we'll catch them. Now they're using Swagger though, what does that do? Rise, raises our attack, but we become confused. That doesn't matter too much, because we're not gonna be attacking anymore anyways. We'll just throw a Great Ball, and hopefully soon enough we catch this thing. Come on. Probably not this one. Oh no it is, awesome, so we call Toxtricity. Glad to see it. Pretty big one to add to our team. And number 199, Toxtricity, the punk Pokemon is an electric poison type, low key form. As it gulps down stagnant water and generates electricity in its body, a sound like a rhythm played by a bass guitar reverberates all around. So cool. So we'll sign out to our boxes for right now, but still a very cool Pokemon to see. And I think I want to revive Palmon. Buy the option here, yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. And then for the rest of it, I should just be able to do that. All right, perfect. So, back to this group of Pokemon. I already have Doug Trio, not interested in that, but Metatite, Metatite has to go down. Let's see if I can actually nuzzle you without like it being a one hit this time. I'll try it one time, we'll see. There we go, that's much better. So it's paralyzed, it might not be able to move. Can use reversal. That doesn't do too much. So this is where we might just have to start tossing great balls and see if we can't catch the Metatite. Hope it works. It might just jump out, no problem. Nope, we get it. Okay, this time it's working out a lot better. Metatite was caught. And this is number 161 Metatite, the Meditate Pokemon, a fighting psychic type. It meditates to heighten its inner energy and to float in the air. It eats one berry a day. Okay, very lean diet. <laughs> it's not very big either, so maybe a lot more filling to them. But we will just move on to the next one now, which is you right here. And I think I could sneak up on you and throw the Pokeball at you. That didn't quite work. What Pokemon is this? It's something I, right? Uh, Sab Sableye, yeah, okay. So let's try Nuzzle again. See, there's a couple of these running around. So if this one goes by too fast, no worries, but it won't. So we could probably hit it with another nuzzle here. Couldn't move because it was paralyzed. It's exactly what we're looking for. So one more nuzzle should do the trick. There we go. Oh no, critical hit there isn't so good, but it's fine. This should be our catch, right? I, I would hope so. Come on. Got it, awesome. So there we go, our third Pokemon in the in the, this last few minutes. Pretty good progress. And that's exactly what I like heading into these caves for, is to find stuff like that. But number 297, Sableye, the darkness Pokemon, is a dark ghost type. Materials from gems it has eaten flow to the surface of its body and can form an infinite number of patterns among individuals. Whoa, that's cool. So every Sableye is a bit different in that way. And it's gonna go right there. So getting a nice collection of Pokemon set up. I would like to, you know, we got 141 of them now, it's crazy. We're still going the right way, that's good. But I wanted to heal my Pokemon. I pressed literally every other button by mistake. What do we got now? Got all of you, I think I saw the little Salamander kind of Pokemon. No, not you, I'm busy. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go full power against you this time if you want. Battle, spark. There we go, see, we got you, no problem. And that's level 41 and 42. Liquidation, ooh, I wanna set this diglet. <laughs> so silly. Um, let's see what liquidation is. The user slams into the target using a full force blast of water. This may also lower the target's defense stat. That sounds really good, but what would we wanna put it over? Now, I wanna keep Icy Wind because of her terrestrialization. Um, that's 85 power, this is only 60, so 
maybe, but like, do I really need bite at this point? You know what I mean? I don't think so. So we'll try that out. Cause you know, the other one can confuse the target. Energy ball. And this is for Nascarada. The user draws power from nature and fires it at the target. This may also lower the target's special defense stat. That's maybe better than C bomb. Once learn, no, uh, no, we can't lose Night Slash. We definitely don't want to lose Flower Trek. So I think we'll put it over C bomb. Because, you know, we want some dark time moves, especially with what we're about to go against. So there we go. Some new moves learned. Maybe some of the options weren't the best, but there's another Toxtricity, but that one is the yellow version. So we definitely want to get both, but for right now I do also see um, you. That's what I was trying to get to. This is just a cute little, uh, what's it called? We just saw it earlier, Salandit. So we'll just nuzzle you really quickly and see how much lower it gets your health. Exactly to around where we want it. So at this point, if we could just throw a Pokeball, that'd be amazing. It's gonna use Venoshock against us. Lots of poison type around here. Um, battle and a Great Ball. But if we could get this other Toxtricity, that'd be pretty cool. I'll go for it. You know, having the different versions isn't the highest priority I have, but it would still be a nice thing eventually. So I it was caught. As you can see, some easy experience. And the Pokedex entry for Salanda is number 120. The Toxic Lizard Pokemon is a poison fire type. What a combo. Only female Salanda can produce gas laden with pheromones. Males entranced by this gas will do whatever the females tell them. Huh. All right then, well, we'll just get this into a box. And there we go. So 120, slammed it. See, we have that blue one back there, this, you know, not so blue one. This one, I guess, is not the chill form that we just had. Caught it off guard. <laughs> cool, so I guess we'll try close combat. Neither of these are very effective. It still was super powerful, so. Maybe now's a good time to switch over to Link Alone and make them fall asleep. Perfect, yeah. Pokemon, Link Alone, and then we'll use um, whatever it was. Um, drowsy or whatever, whatever the move is called. Yawn, that's what it is. Okay, let's go for the Gnese Discharge against us now, so we might be paralyzed, we'll see. We're not, perfect, so let's use Yawn really quickly. And this next turn, we're a little vulnerable. Whoa, is there a, uh, what is going on over there in the wall? I'm not sure. Uh, well, it's gone now. Only Cologne was unfortunately poisoned, but hey, now you have the lingering aroma. Okay, so at this point, you're, you should be sleeping soon. We'll just throw a great ball and see if it works. It's gotta keep working on it, right? Come on, come on. Nah, yeah, not this time, but I think as soon as it falls asleep, whenever that happens, it's taking a while. Did it not work? I'm not sure. Okay, so we're confused, we're poisoned, but there you go. This is all we were looking for. So with Toxtricity asleep, this is our chance to catch it, I would imagine. Come on. Ooh, it's a critical throw too, so that should definitely be it. So this is a different form of toxicity, but definitely one worthwhile getting. All right, a bunch more experience for us, and the amped form, cool. So I'm glad I have both of them. And uh, let's see for ourselves here. I keep doing that, I don't, I don't know why, but the the X button does not fit the button I should have to, you know, to choose for. This, I don't know. Anyways, good enough stuff. We haven't seen any other new Pokemon around just yet. Just other toxicities and things. Whoa, have we gotten Gibble and Garchomp? We've gotten, we've not gotten Gibble. So let's try for Gibble. And Gibble might be ground type. Garchomp we might have gotten. I remember we're at least running into it. So I guess for right now we'll just do close combat. There's a lot of them around here. So, ooh, that's a one hit takedown. Gibble, Gibble fainted. Okay, we'll switch over to um, Link Alone in just a moment. What I want to see, did we ca we did catch a Gabite, which Gabite goes into Garchomp eventually. It evolves into Garchomp. Um, change position. I know you want to fight with me, but you just gotta wait. Uh, see, now we can fight, and I can catch it by surprise too. So that's actually really great for us. You know, putting you to sleep. So Gibble got caught off guard. 
battle. Yawn. And then we do, uh... What's it called? As we get hit by our poison to work here, uh, we get... Headbutt. I think headbutt would be enough. Ah, oh, it's too much, darn. That stinks. It's definitely not what I wanted. Why is Gibble so difficult to catch? And now we got Gabite. I'm not interested in Gabite. <laughs> All right then. So you know what, we'll just run from you. I wanna try for that Gibble. Like this time, it's, it's gotta work, it's gotta work. So, it's so unaware, it's sort of adorable. <laughs> just staring off into the distance. We will once again use Yawn. I guess this time, we'll try one of the other moves and see if it's maybe lower. Gibble drew Drowsy. Use Dragon Claw. Okay, so no more Sand Veil for you. Let's see my other move here. So I battle. That has 90, this is 70. So that's even. It's crazy because you know, it's even weaker. This is effective, but it's not super effective. Maybe this would be enough? I'm a little bit worried though. Guess we'll see in a moment. Gibble's gonna use Slash. Avoided it, of course, because we're under the ground. If this one doesn't work, then I think we'll just leave it for now. But you are asleep. Yeah, it's too much. It's so weird. All right. Level 41 for uh, Doc Spun there, which is cool. Oh, and there's some TMs and stuff up here. I definitely wanna grab that. Um, we got Protect. This move enables all the users to purchase itself from attacks. Okay, very nice to see that. And am I going the right way? I guess not, this is a dead end. Huh. I mean, obviously I can get up there. Ooh, I don't know if I quite can with that platform. But there's definitely maybe another way over this way that I think Maridon can make this jump over this way. Here's hoping, if I jump maybe on this. Whoa, Meta Cham, right? Uh. No, 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 right there. Let's battle you, because you're what Meditate evolves into. I think maybe just one of them? I'm not sure. I might have like two potential evolutions. Either way, I know Winklelands isn't doing super well. If we could just start with a yawn, that'd be good. It seems like it worked quite well. The high jump kick is definitely gonna be super effective, but that's to be expected. So, now you're gonna be sleeping. If we could also hit you with some palm out moves, you know, hit you with the spark and everything, that'd probably be a Pretty big jump. So choose next Pokemon, Palmon. All right. See, so it will nuzzle. And it doesn't do too much, but that's exactly what we were expecting. So I might just do a couple of those while you're sleeping. Oh, they also have Lingering Aroma. That's interesting. Accu-Pressure. That's going to rise your defense, which actually is a little bit of a pain. But now if they can just fall asleep. Ooh, that's a critical. So this is right about where we want to be, as we're using Psyka. Okay, throw a great ball. Let's see what we got. Can we can we obtain the uh, Meta Cham? Yes, we can. Meta Cham was caught. Awesome. All right, and that's a lot of experience for us. Again, I do have to revive Oinkalone, but for right now, number 162, Metachan. The Meditate Pokemon is a fighting psychic type. It elegantly avoids attacks with dance-like steps, then launches a devastating blow in the same motion. All right then, so no nickname for you, but we'll send you to our box and keep moving. So yeah, let's see if I can't, oh yeah, I can just jump up here, no problem. That jump really goes a long way, doesn't it? So we'll get this, I will, Oh no, hold on, I know the right button this time. It's right here. We need to revive you with a revive. And then we can just normally heal you, which I guess no longer, you're no longer poison, which is great. So here's more of the same, but you, Bagon, Bagon, I'm not sure, but don't have you call, you're like a little dinosaur, which is so cool. So let's just try Yawn again. I know I've been using it a lot. We're running out of power points for it, but it's well worth it for sure. Began to grow drowsy. We can use Zen Headbutt. 
So I think this is like a dragon type. I guess we'll try headbutt and hope it's not too much. Okay, perfect. Exactly what we wanna see. So at this point, we don't worry too much about what's happening in the fight. You're gonna fall asleep and we're just gonna throw, start throwing Pokeballs. Chances of catching this, I feel like are pretty high. Come on, let's find out for ourselves. No way! It's kicking out while it's snoozing, it's, just, it's wild. All right then, so we just keep going for this chance. Come on, this has gotta be it. There's no way it's jumping out of this one. There it is. All right then, so that again was caught. Decent chunk of experience, and because it's you know a new Pokemon called, we get the Pokedex entry. Number 276, the Rockhead Pokemon is a Dragon type. It's, belie it's believed that it will be able to fly one day is apparently the influence of information carried in its genes. Huh. All right then, so I guess it evolves into something that flies, you can only imagine. Well, there we go, bag in. All right, let's take a good look around. Oh, I do see some ways to get up here. Whoa, and there's a trainer over here. There's another, uh, was it Makuhita, right? Something like that. I guess we'll go for the trainer for now, but uh, I guess first we should Switch your positions maybe a little bit. So let's change positions so that um, Yasukarada's out in front. Your future is hazy. Let me see your future. Let's see if you'll make it out of this cave. You're challenged by Doming Domingo the Scientist. And they have Electra, so I think we can handle that pretty well. Electra type moves won't do too much against Yasukarada. I guess we'll just start with Night Slash and see how much damage it does. We only have a three level lead on you, so it definitely is a lot more difficult, but it does a ton of damage. Here comes out Light Screen, so I guess it'll block. Special moves. All right, what about U-Turn? Can U-Turn work? It will, cool. Now I gotta switch, so let's make sure it's into something good. Oh no, that was the only Pokemon they had, so never mind. We got a level up for Palmon, I think level 45 already, which is crazy. It'll be fine wherever you go. Well, thank you very much. Alfernada is ahead. After you climb this cave ever upwards, follow the torches, they will be your guide. Cool. See, what's interesting about this is I don't think we could have done this before the jump increase. So it really is a big difference maker. But it's a lot of fun to explore. We get a rare bone. Seeing more of those torches and more Pokemon. I did see some kind of Pokemon up this way. What will this be? This terrestrialized. Where'd it go? Uh, I blinked it. It literally disappeared. <laughs> okay, so I guess maybe we ran out of time for that one. I mean, it was here clearly, it's just not here anymore. I'm not really seeing too much else. Are these different colors, or is it just different light? I think it's just different lighting. Anyways, I guess no. A terrestrialized Pokemon for me there, but we do get a Great Ball, which I really need. And what's over this way? Oh no, there you go, gotta glide. Ooh, oh no, that's a, a Gabite again. Don't quite need that. So now we're not running into too much that's new, unfortunately, but we get a Dust Ball there, which is amazing. And I can send out whoever I have out in front just to fight some more. You know, it is against fire types, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But we are so close to a level up again, which is nice for a couple of them. There's another trainer waiting for us right over here. We have, did I see you riding on a Pokemon? Yes, I am. But this is seemingly a new type of trainer. I didn't know there was a Pokemon that could climb these steep slopes with a rider. Oh, is this a rock climber? I think it is. You're charged by Tamara, the Dragon Tamer. No, we've seen Dragon Tamers before, Never mind. Shell gun. Ooh, interesting. I haven't seen this Pokemon in this game just yet. Uh, let's just try Night Slash for now. We don't really know what typing you are. That seems to do plenty enough. They're gonna use Crunch against us, which not very effective. Night Slash again. Let's finish you off. I think you had one more Pokemon. There we go, almost level 43. Slagoo. That's a, the, the gooey Pokemon. But that is also a dragon type, so 
I think we're good just continually using more of the Night Slash. Almost! That was so close. The Water Pulse being used against us won't be too damaging, of course. It's not very effective. But we are confused. Hopefully we can push through it and just do one more tiny attack. Come on, come on. Please. Nice, okay, so there's Slinku defeated and now we'll switch out Masquerada for something else just because you know, they're fainted. This could be a bit of an uphill battle with that. Now they're sending out Haxorus, which I don't know too much about, but you know what, let's just send down, let's just send out something different like Doxbun. Maybe that would be good. All right, Doxbun. Let's see what you got. So what is Haxorus? I think like I've heard the name before, but I just don't remember what it looks like, because that does not look like a Haxorus to me. But uh, very cool for sure. Uh, let's try like a Fairy Titan. Is that good against Dragon? Ooh, it is! Super effective, amazing. So definitely gotta remember that. Doxbun can be good against Dragon Trainers. Uh, but there we go, 2,000 experience as well. That's quite a lot. So really good stuff to see there. I thought I trained pretty hard. You did, those were tough Pokemon. Such a mysterious Pokemon. I've never seen anything like it. Well, thank you very much. Glad you like it. I think we're doing a pretty good job of sort of continuing where we're supposed to go. I'm just looking for any extra goodies we can find. Like that one Pokemon you just tried to battle us with. If I can jump over here, I might be able to sneak up on you in time. Nope. Instead, I accidentally threw it at the Doug Trio I have no interest in. Um. Yeah, let's just get rid of you with Energy Ball. We haven't tried Energy Ball yet, so. Boom. So yeah, <laughs> that's one way to deal with it. Dugtrio's gonna faint, and we'll turn to this one, whatever it was, Shellos maybe? Oh, and we got a new Moodler for Doxmon, Charm. What is Charm then? Charm is a fairy type move. The user gazes at the target rather charmingly, making it less wary. This harshly lowers the target's attack stat. That could be good instead of, well, I mean, Roar could also be good. Um. Hmm. Maybe overbite? I know we're sort of slowly getting rid of all of our bites, but I think that's okay. We'll try this instead. One, two, and ta-da! Doxmon forgot bite and learned charm instead. So, let's try against you. That's what I was after to begin with. What was it? It was shell something, right? Shell gone. All right then, so we'll just try for right now a night slash, I think. With it being only one level below us, I doubt it'll be a one-hit takedown. Not even. Okay, so that's actually really good. It's gonna use Scary Face, which I think will lower. Masquerade's amulet prevents it. That's awesome. Forgot we had that on him. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for now. So, the Scary Face, they're still trying it. It's still not gonna work. I'm sorry. Try as you might. This doesn't, doesn't work. So, let's try this throw. Come on. Ah, jeez. They're gonna be pretty tough with it. We might wanna switch over, but here comes the Zen. Ed, but that also doesn't affect us. So good. Maybe we should just keep with this right now. This seems to be the best suited thing. Come on. No, it was so close. Come on. The Zen had, I mean, I feel like I mean, Oscar is very defended against us, so we could just throw Pokeballs all day. But well, we still might have to do a little bit more. We might have to put it to sleep with uh, Oink alone. Because it is so stubborn. I will throw one more, and if it doesn't work, we'll switch over to Oink alone. But the Dragon Claw might actually be a bit of a, bit, a little bit of a switch up. So you know what? We'll do it now. We'll use the Yawn on you, we'll put you to sleep, and we'll work from there. So, we are catching this thing, for sure. I want Shell God. Okay, now we can use Scary Face. And it is quite the Scary Face. Our speed has harshly fallen. We'll just yawn. Yeah, they get to use it twice because of how much they've, they've lowered our speed. But it doesn't matter too much. And use yawn so that you grow drowsy, and then we're just back to throwing the Great Balls again. We'll beat this one, probably not, because they're not technically asleep yet. But it always works that way, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, Shell God was caught. And with it, some experience for the ones who haven't fainted. 
Uh, number 277, Shellgon, the endurance Pokemon. Tell me about it, the dragon type. Um, its armored body makes all attacks bounce off. The armor is too tough, however, making it heavy and somewhat sluggish. All right then, very cool. So we'll put that away for now. And put that in there, 277. So maybe that's what the dragon involves into? Weird, wasn't expecting that. Uh, so I'll put this here and that there. You know what I, I mean to do. So what is that? Oh, that's the entrance of the cave way over there. I thought it was like a big Pokemon or something. Not quite. So there is a rock climber over here. I'll grab this first. And there's another trainer down that way. I don't think I battled them. Actually, let's go deal with this then. Okay, holding all the way down. Just because I want to see as many trainers as possible. There's actually another one down here too. So this is like two main paths. A full heal is always great. A couple little diglets we don't need too much, but where was that trainer at? Where am I? I don't know, they seem to be lost. Whoa, I was running after Pokemon and now I'm completely lost. Well, the exit's right over there if you need it. And now we're battling. You're challenged by youngster Aiden. They want Venomoth. Okay. Well, Masquerada should be able to handle that okay for now. I think just, would Energy Ball be good against it? Is Grass good against Bug? No, it's not. Leech Life though. Now that is powerful. Super effective. Not what we wanted to see at all. So Masquerada's down. That's okay. We'll switch over to um, Talonflame. and I think we should be able to do some good damage there. So here comes Talonflame. And we are just going to use whatever's the most damage, which seems to be Aerial Ace. I definitely need to use some TMs on Talonflame to increase, or just find better moves that might do more damage at this point in the game. But for now, Venomoth is gonna faint. And that's that Pokemon defeated. Fortress, Fortress. It seems like it's gonna be a grass type it's sort of like forest or something. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. I guess it's just supposed to be like a fortress. Okay, well, we can use Aerial Ace a little bit, but it might be a water type. It looks like a shell kind of deal. Or maybe a steel type. Let's try the, hold on. Let's try the, the flame charge. There we go, it is a steel type. I'm very bad at guessing the Pokemon types, I suppose. Anyways, Youngster Aiden is defeated. Lost my way to victory too, I'm so sorry. If I really get stumped, I'll call a flying taxi. Even in a cave? I figured it wouldn't work in a cave. Anyways, now I know that it will. So we will just head up here really quickly. It seems like there might be some uh, of the raids, but going on above us, which I wasn't expecting too much. Yeah, it must be over our heads, I don't see this at all. It must be on the mountain above us, so. Good to know, we'll have to try that at some point. Right now though, I just want to revive you. No, I didn't want to, hold on. Restore health, I skipped over it. <laughs> revive, we're using a lot of revives today, but it's well worth it, just Pokemon get knocked out easy in this game, I feel like. Which is okay. I don't mind it being a little bit more difficult now, I. Right? We do have another trainer to battle over this way. The more trainers we battle, the stronger we get. This is so much fun. I agree. Treasure hunting is so much fun, and it'll be even more fun when I beat you. We'll see you about that one. So we are challenged by Yolanda the student. All right, Yolanda, you have Krokorok, which I guess is the evolution of Sandile, I think, which we've already caught. That's always cool. So we don't get our stats lower there, that's always good. Let's just try Night Slash for now. And that's not very effective, but it still does a lot. And their Swagger. It's gonna make our attack rise sharply, but of course we get um, confused. So at this point, let's try U-Turn. If we don't hurt ourselves in confusion, it should turn out well. Here we go. Boom, gotcha. So let's see what you have next. Rock, rock, or rock, or rock fainted, and you're gonna go back to us. I don't know if it will give us a chance to change again, but for right now, oh, looks like we're getting some level ups too. We're gonna swap in Floatzel.
Lorantis. I don't know what Lorantis is, so I guess we'll just keep with Floatzel for now. Whoa! I think I remembered this one a little bit. Let's try Icy Wind again, Stat. It, it is super effective, so yeah, we can keep using that. Lorantis is speed fell too, so we can use X Scissor, which that's not super effective. I figured that'd be like a gra grass type move, but I guess not. Almost. Come on, just a little bit more. Their speed is gonna fall again. Sweet scent. Thanks for evasiveness fall. I'm okay with that. Because regardless, we're about to finish you off. There we go, super effective. Orantis fainted. And a bunch of more experience. Awesome, so level 44 for um, Meowskarada, which is really what we're looking for. Losing isn't fun. I guess not, but it's, it's sort of the risk you run when you go against somebody. This treasure hunt project is fun, isn't it? It's a great chance to really re-examine yourself. I agree. Whoa, 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 what is that? I think that's a Doug Trio. Gotta get out of here then. But it looks like there might be more of a way up from here, but there's also maybe some other things to get to? Huh. There's a lot of trainers around, aren't there? I'm trying to make the most of it. It seems like we're under the gym right now. Or at least we're getting to it. That's crazy. We have two revives. And ooh, a TM. Definitely want that. So that is Focus Blast. The user heightens his mental focus and unleashes its power. Awesome. So we will grab this right over here. An X special attack. I will press the wrong button again, but my intent is just to heal up whoever needs it and go for this next battle. So, gotta remember the Pokemon types. There's quite a lot of them. Pokemon types are so complicated, don't you think? I guess so. I mean, they'll definitely, I get mixed up on them. But Eloisa the student, or Eloisa? I think it's Eloisa. And that's a very cute little Hatrim, is it? I think it said. Yeah, Hatrim, level 40. We can maybe use Night Slash. Yeah, it's Psychic, okay, so that's good. So Hatchum's gonna faint. We only have one more use left on this Night Slash. It's a little bit concerning, but we have plenty of Elixirs, so Gardevoir is coming out. I think, you know, Gardevoir should be also Psychic, so maybe we can just use one more Night Slash to finish it off. All right, I think this is our first time seeing Gardevoir in this game. We've seen, you know, some of the evolutions we've caught even some of them, but Life Dew, that might heal it a little. Yep, it's definitely going to. But how much? Not by too much. At this point, we can just use Energy Ball. And finish you off. No, you have a little bit left. Calm Mind. I guess it's gonna protect it from, you know. Not too much, actually. Never mind, we're fine. It, it's gonna raise its stats, but not enough for it to defend it against whatever hit we make here. It only has a couple of hit points left, so we might as well try this. And there we go, Guard of War Fates. And that's level 43 for Floats on 47 for Palmont. Pretty crazy. Not complicated for you, huh? Yeah, I feel like it's still pretty difficult. Okay, so I get why water is strong against fire, but why is dark strong against psychic? I don't know, that's just how it is. Anyways, we want to ca try to catch that Pokemon right, you know, the one right next to that. So what I'll do, we know it's a poison fire type, right? So we know Palmont will just do just fine against it. So We'll switch Palm out in front, and yeah, go for you. That's exactly what I want. So, you're the evolution of Salandit. It is Salazzle. Very cool. So we'll use Nuzzle. And that's okay, but if I could just attack you from here, I think that'd be nice. Maybe I'm able to move. Use so Venno Shock, which does quite a lot. Maybe I shouldn't do this. I'm afraid it's just gonna do too much damage. We'll keep nuzzling. So on steady wins race with something like this. I think nasty plots coming up next, but I think we'll just throw a Pokeball from here as its special attack rises. It's at low health, relatively. It's paralyzed. There's a chance we can catch it. Oh, and we get the critical throw. I feel like we get that a lot in this game. So there we go. We have caught Salazzle. Very nice. Bunch of experience, level 43 for Doxbun. 
In his number 121, Salazzle, the Toxic Lizard Pokemon, a Poison Fire type. When two Salazzle meet, they will use their pheromone, pheromone gas to fight over the males in each other's group. Huh. Okay then. So with that in our box, oh man, we almost had like this full screen just filled up. Another Pokemon's gonna go first. They weren't so happy with what we, that we caught the Salazzle, but I'm sorry, just has to be that. Let's run. And I guess we'll try to get up here. I think I can make this jump, right? Ooh, yeah, I can. Cool. I'll grab this Pokeball because it's waiting for me. I think we, yeah, we took on that trainer. Okay, I sort of see where I am now. Yeah, I'm sort of catching up with it. Looks like there's a lot of ways to go here. Trying to be good with all of them. We never took you on. This might be our chance. Uh, now I'm always I'm always pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, but I wouldn't float till back out just because it's a rock climber, right? So I would think they would have like rock type Pokemon. Woo! Just a little more. I just warned myself I'd make my uh, my my way to town without running in my Pokemon. All right. Well, good luck. You're challenged by Backpacker Eider. Eider? Hmm. Luxray. Okay, well, never mind. We're already at a bad situation here. But maybe I could just uh, use something else, or maybe we could just. Well, let's just switch out. Let's just switch out. We will use um, Link Lun so we can use Dig. I think Ground's good against Electric. Or maybe it's just that Electric can't hurt Ground. Guess we'll see in just a moment. Bolt switch is the first thing we'll see here. It doesn't do too much against us. So let's just try day. Or it's way underground. Now nah, it can't do too much. I don't even think the roar really works, right? Yep, we avoid that. Can't hear you from under there, but yeah, it is super effective, but it's not quite enough. Now they'll use spark. We might just want to do a normal attack here. The intimidate is gone, but. A little too late for that anyways. And this is our only Pokemon, so if we could just get rid of this, we'll be in a much better position. Luxray is going to faint. And we defeated Backpacker Eater. My legs are about to give out, and I'm about to give up. I'm so sorry. Now you definitely can't ride your Pokemon. <laughs> I guess it's a good time for a breather, and I've got some sandwiches for my Pokemon. That's great, so that should help out a ton. What do we have up here? Nothing new just yet. It may be under here. Yeah, there's gotta be a TM. I was thinking that. Uh, we'll grab this. It is, I didn't mean to click it so fast. We got a new TM. Very cool. Uh, and we'll just try to get up here. So I think it, we're, we're still following the torches. We're on our way. We got a rare bone and another trainer. Okay, so. Let's see this. Oh, I didn't know you could pull it out that. Okay, that's actually really nice. I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, I don't know what we're about to go against, but how does today's weather look? Guess we'll see soon enough once we're out of here. I'll tell you why I'm so worried about the weather. Why? <laughs> You're challenged by Hiker Daniela. I guess maybe if we beat them in a battle, they'll tell us? Hippodon, oh boy. We have Masquerada. I think we called him the Hippodon, didn't we? I think so. Sandstream coming in from the Hippodon. Obviously our energy ball is gonna be super effective against you. So let's try that out. And almost a one hit takedown. That would've been great, but they're gonna use takedown on us. But they were damaged by the recoil, maybe even enough for them to faint. Or about to see, I guess not, Never mind. Is there anything interesting behind us? Not really, so. I think we're just gonna be heading through this alcove after, but Hippodon's gonna faint. And there we go, we, we, we defeated Hippodon, we get some easy experience, some level ups. Um, Lycanroc, okay, this is where we probably wanted to switch over to Floatzel. I think this is gonna be better overall. Just cause, you know, Masquerade is taking some good damage here, I just don't want it, that to happen too much, so. Here comes Lycanroc. Yeah, we've we've seen one other form of lichen rock. We'll use our brand new liquidation, right? Sure. This is 85 damage. It might be a one-hit takedown. It is super effective. Great to see it. Lichen rock faints. And there we go. Hiker Daniela is defeated. 
Sandstorms are weather too, you know. I swear they are. Oh, uh, that's what you meant. All right, we'll get a lot of prize money for that one. Very nice. The truly frightening thing about a sandstorm is not the damage it deals, it's the fact that rock type Pokemon get a special defense boost and become even hardier. It definitely is scary, so you gotta be careful of those kind of things, but we got through it just fine. Now here, there's yet another trainer waiting for us, but I think for that one, I wanna heal up first. And I'm guessing there's gonna be one of the reward guys. Yep, there is, so um, heal up first, and then we'll battle them, then we'll deal with everything else. But we've finally made it to wherever we are now, so that's great. I think this is gonna be a fun area to explore and find some even more new Pokemon. It was definitely some hard work getting up here, but seems well, well worth it. Okay, so with that out of the way, now out and the rest of your team should be all better now. And should re restore their power points. So, let's see, can I defeat you? Behold them, these muscles. Oh, and I'm seeing some new Pokemon in the distance. That's exciting. I built up these muscles by many trips to the gym. My brilliant brawn will surely lead me to victory. Okay, so first things first is we're battling Aizen, the courier. Very cool. And they have Rev of Room. Whoa, okay, so. Why not the best Pokemon for this is probably a Steel type. Obviously we've battled against um, River of Room and the many uh, Team Star battles we've had so far. But we can do this, it's not a ton of damage, it's enough to get through you a little bit. But they're using Swagger. Our attacker has a sharp but maybe we get confused. Yep, there it is. If I can just land one more, it doesn't matter. So let's see if Mascarada can do it. Here we go. Excellent, so there we go, we've defeated you no problem. And, level up for Floatzel and for Talonflame. My massive musculature misled me. I guess so. So first things first, I wanna switch over to Palmot so we can start catching some of the Pokemon back there. I saw a few. Um, the gym I go to isn't a Pokemon gym, you know, it's a human gym. I'm aware of the differences, don't worry, but uh, Oh no, it's gone. I think it was a Sylveon or something like that. We still have other new ones here for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on, I wanna, I wanna battle you. There we go, like this. Okay, so this is Banette. This is definitely new for me. So let's go ahead and just nuzzle you for now. And I think we can just land a Spark. And there's a lot of them sort of waddling around. And there's a little keychain Pokemon too. Yeah, I guess it's gone in that one little moment. Very unfortunate. Oh, whoa, okay, wait a minute. It, it's damaging itself a bunch to curse us, but that doesn't really bother me too much, because now we can just catch it with a Great Ball, right? Here we go, come on. Ah, no way, almost had it. We'll throw another one. Let's go throw a Shadow Ball. That does do a lot of damage. And that curse is gonna follow up and probably do a lot more. Yeah, there it is. If we could just hit you one more time, with the Great Ball. I'm sure this one's gonna be a catch, right? No way. Okay, we might just have to put you to sleep as well. Unfortunately, I think that means that uh, Palmot's gonna faint here. But, we'll choose next Pokemon. We'll put you to sleep with Oink alone, and that should definitely, be low health, sleeping, and paralyzed, it should be more than enough to catch you, I'd imagine. So battle, yawn, and then we just constantly throw Pokeballs. Whatever we got, we just keep tossing it. Wait, did that not work? I don't think that worked. Uh, no, but, it, oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Okay, we'll try to catch this thing later then. This is where I really wish I had Quick Balls, because it just make the act of catching Pokemon much easier. I'm seeing a lot of new things, the little teacup, whatever this is. Whoa, we're seeing a lot of cool new things. So let me really quickly heal up my Pokemon, and then we'll, we'll take another look over here for sure. But I definitely need to move on with the main mission in today's episode of taking on the gym leader, but let's see. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep, and having some nice Pokemon battles. So far you defeated eight trainers here in Area 6 of the South Province. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. We get Flare Blitz. The user cloaks itself in fire and charges the target to inflict damage. This also damages the user quite a lot, and may leave the target with a burn. Interesting, so good to have some more moves for sure. We will heal up here, and then I just wanna take some of those Pokemon on again. Get my Pokemon, and then also I need to buy more Pokeballs. 
Okay, so I'm buying some stuff here just so we're prepared. I also got some ice heals because I don't have those just yet, but I'm using bulk buy, which is pretty cool. So I should be able to make this purchase, 37,000. We can afford that, no problem. So there we go. And I might be even able to sell some stuff here. I don't know if I have any extras right now, but let's go to our treasures as we normally do and right over here. So I can also bulk sell. I've never done this before, so this is really nice. We could just go like this, that, and this, and sell it. There you go, so already made some of that money back. Always good to see. But we can leave that there and just head back out, at least catch a few more Pokemon, right? Or maybe go on a Terra battle or something. I see a Terra raid waiting for us over here. Since we haven't done that yet, that would be really cool, but I, I, I saw, whoa, the evolution of Mudbreak here too. There's just so many. Um, Let's try this out, if it'll allow me. Huh, this is definitely new. I probably want to change my Pokemon into, um. Obviously, Floats will be good, but you know, Grass is good against Rock too. So let's use Masquerada because that will also give us some extra experience for them, and that's something I really want. So we'll challenge you alone. It is, I think it's Finian, but it looks like the silhouette of Finian. So a Rock type that's normally a Water type Pokemon. That's a pretty cool combo. All right, well, here we are. And with this one. It definitely looks like Finian to me. I think we can handle this. With it only being two stars, it should be a pretty easy battle just in and out really quickly. Maybe a couple of attacks, but grass versus rock, grass wins. Your sand dials intimidate. Let's do our energy ball, which actually maybe we should do this because it's a guaranteed critical. So would it do more damage? I guess we'll see. Whoa, it does damage all right. A one hit takedown. That's all we need. That's all we need. So. Let's go ahead and catch this thing. <laughs> that was one of the easiest yet, right? Catch, just a normal Pokeball should do the trick. And it's extra experience candy for us, which once again, I'll be giving to my Pokemon right before the gym leader battle, just to prepare for it a bit more. Here we go. And boom. So. We'll catch this. I think we haven't caught this here in um, Scarlet and Violet, so hopefully it goes well and we can get some Pokedex entry here. But yeah, we caught Finian with a bunch of other experience and Stardust and all that kind of stuff. Really cool. Okay, so. Number 333, Finian, the wingfish Pokemon, is a water type. It absorbs sunlight with the pink areas of its skin, which then shine. And this appears to be a form of camouflage. It's really cool. So we'll send you to our box, and let's get back to catching some more Pokemon here. Just a few more, because I just don't want to spend a ton of time on it. No, uh, we, we have Palmot's Nuzzle here, so. Oh, they're gone, no! <laughs> See, I guess it's always a decision to make. But what the, what's the nice thing, though, is that I feel like they always eventually pop back up. Hmm. So maybe, you know, it, it's not worth worrying about too much. I feel like the Sylveon might be worth going for, but we just see you here. See, I don't, I don't see the Sylveon right now. So let's go for you instead. Cute little teapot. This is Sinisty. Whoa, we'll use Nuzzle. Probably we've gone against you before. I think a trainer's had you or something. Not very effective, but I can Nuzzle you. And that gets you pretty low. Maybe low enough that I can just toss a Pokeball or something. It's paralyzed, it cannot move, so. It's defense fell as well, but to raise its speed. I think that might make, actually make it a little bit more difficult to catch. I guess we'll see. Come on. Ooh. We got it. All right, no problem. So we do get at least one Pokemon around here. Sinisty. A little bit more experience for everybody. And. Number 237, Sinistee, the black tea Pokemon, ghost phony form. Sinistee gets into your body when you drink it, and then it seals your vital vitality from within. It also tastes awful. Oh my, that's sort of scary. So don't drink this thing. That's 237. So we'll definitely have to see like, the evolution and the other forms of it at some point. Lots of spooky Pokemon around here, that's for sure. Uh, but let's see, we were pretty far into this episode and we haven't made any progress with the actual gems. That's what I want to see. We are now in Alfernada. 
a very beautiful area for sure. Looks like there's even more after, so that could be cool to explore later on. But I want to go right up to the gym leader. Maybe actually grab some other stuff too, you know? We got uh, an Ultra Ball. I just used one, so good to get another. Let's try out this gem. And maybe Nimona will be here. Maybe we'll get a different, you know, interesting challenge. I'm not really sure. Oh, hey, it's the professor. Or, yeah, Jacques. Hello, hello, Zebra. How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? I have no idea. Everything. I'm searching for everything. <laughs> I get it. Director Clavel doesn't like questions with easy answers, does he? Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's not e no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I'm waiting here, to make sure you know your home teachers got your back. We got a lucky egg, whoa. An item to be held by a Pokemon, it's an egg filled with happiness that earns the holder extra experience points. That is really useful. This should be handy for your treasure hunt. I hope you'll keep working on that Pokedex of yours too, since I did make the app and all. That's all from me. Just do your best and keep out for er, yeah, keep out for danger. All right then. So definitely want to give a Pokemon that really quickly before we do anything else, because if not, I will definitely forget. Um, and now I'm pressing all the wrong buttons in the reverse order. Am I? No, no, no. It was the first one. I just didn't see it. Um, not not our boxes. We need to go to our bag, which I don't even know if we've been in our boxes yet, but you can see we've got quite a lot of Pokemon. Very exciting stuff. What are the four boxes of them? Five boxes of them? How many Pokemon did we, six? No, we're right at the end of five. That's crazy. I didn't realize we had gotten that many. All right then, so, yeah. So it was a held item, it would be where? They pass it. These are battle items, berries, other items. Would it be in other items? I'm not sure. I'll look around for it really quickly. Right here. Lucky Egg. Who could use this for right now? I mean, we could use it on... I don't want to use it. I want to give it. Give it to a Pokemon. Let's just try somebody who doesn't have an item, like Doc Spun, right now. Um, prevent Evolving. What does this do? Can make a certain... Sp okay, so let's do Leftovers on Floatzel, just to give them something. And with all of that done, I've been meaning to give the experience candy to Nascarada uh, here. We could just do quite a few of the, the medium ones. So let's see. Use this item on Nascarada. I want to do five or four. Okay, I just clicked it too soon. But there we go. That's a bunch of experience getting them to level 47 already. Let's go to the... Oh, play rough. We don't really need it. We have that for Doc Spun. Um, But experience candy, S. We'll give that to you. And we have a lot of it, so we can give like 13. Next right, he's level 40. So it takes a lot of work, as you can see, to actually get them leveled up anymore. I don't want to use the rare candy until they're like really high level, but they're closer to level 50 now, which is a huge jump forward. Let's go um, read some of these people's texts. The Alfernada gym is rather tough to beat, you know? You sure you'll be all right? I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, Spoink is the best. Spoink is great. Welcome to the Al Alfernada gym. <laughs> Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Zebra, yes? Indeed it is. Great, now in order to face Gym Leader Tulip, you'll need to, you first need to pass the gym task. Here at the Alphernada Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it and you pass the task. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leaving the gym and you'll find the practice area right next door. Now get out there and have fun. All right then, so I guess we're starting our little training area here. We need to leave here. And they said go left. I don't know if that's left from our perspective or the characters, I guess this way. Uh, oh yeah, here you are, whoa. Step right up for some exercise. Ooh, hi. Osu, welcome new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Why is your battle studies teacher here at the Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been fr uh, friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled and well, 
Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is my chance to both get a workout in and tell my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of emotional spectrum practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement and you'll just, all, all, all you have to do is copy it. Ready to get this gym test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Sure. So I guess this is one of the school teachers? Great, let's get to exercising. Show me an eruption of my emotions. All right, so how does this work? So like Simon says in a way? Uh, gym test, take on emotional spectrum practice. All right, well, I'm ready. I think. We have all these Pokemon out this way. Uh, three, two, one. I think the game's running a little slow. Oh, is it like a rhythm? No, 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 okay. It is like Simon says. I need a head to toe surprise. I did it. Are you excited? Show me. Okay, so I guess the faster we do it, the better. Okay, there you go, anger. Can I throw another one? I can throw multiple. I don't know if that actually helps or not. Give me your best anger face. Okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Got the whole range of emotions. Become the embodiment of joy. And then, surprise again, show me surprise. Be astonished. All right, then, we can the embodiment of joy again. So we're just showing all these different emotions. Are you excited? Show me, I am, I am. Gotta hit it again. I guess maybe the faster the better, but I don't know if it matters too much. So we keep getting okay every time, regardless. Yeah, just like late or early, just as okay. And there we go. Was that really it? That might've been the easiest trainer test so far. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression. That's enough of a warm up. Now let's really put those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. I guess so. You gotta keep moving. This is no ordinary battle. This is a workout. Huh. Gym trainer Emily. What do they have? Gotharita. Okay, well, I should probably have, well, they might be a dark type as well. So we'll just try for right now. Maybe close combat, that might work, it might not. It's not very effective, but it still does a ton of damage. So Palma's defense might fall a little bit. And now you Psy Shock. Ooh, that's super effective. See, now we're in a problem situation. We'll use Spark really quick to get rid of you. And as soon as we get a chance, we need to switch out Pokemon. So Gotharita's gonna faint. And what do you have next? As we get some experience here, Curlia. Okay, so that is definitely a psychic type. This is where we switch up to Masquerada. And we use some of our good old dark type moves. All right, so here comes Curlia. Definitely a psychic, so Trace, Overgrow. What does that do? I'm not really sure. It's only normally effective, actually. So let's try Flower Trick instead. That would be super effective. Weird. Okay, well that's a critical hit. More than enough for us just to get rid of you, so I'll take it very gladly. And there we go, we defeated Gym Trainer Emily. Pretty close one, at least with Palmot. I'm moved by how well you moved, both you and your Pokemon. Well, I'm very appreciative of that. And we're moving to the next one, maybe, or something? I'm not really sure. Great, I can hear your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you gotta hang in there. Time to start the second half. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go again. What's gonna be this time? Overflow with excitement. So it's really just the same thing uh, again. I thought this one would be the most repetitive so far, but you know what it is, what it is? I wonder if there's a way to fail it if we just didn't press anything or if we pressed the wrong ones. See, so what happens if I, okay, it doesn't really just, it just, it doesn't really penalize you for doing the wrong one. It just, it doesn't give you the okay for it. So that's so interesting. Recall something that made you angry. Okay, so I guess we have to do this a couple more times to get through it, but then there'll probably be another gym leader battle or gym trainer. I wonder if we'll have to battle all these people behind us, because if so, that's gonna take us a while. And then we just gotta 
Show some joy again. And then anger. Okay, a little bit more. <laughs> this is sort of silly. So this goes on for super long, but it's just, just sort of the same thing over and over. Okay, got it. Should I be doing more? Maybe if I just keep pressing it, but that makes the timer go by slower because it pauses it. So I don't think that's really it either. Maybe I gotta hold it? I don't know. Either way, it's over now. That was perfect. I almost lost track of who was teaching who. Don't give up yet. It's time for another battle. Hold out against all that lactic, lactic acid. Uh, okay. My goal is to grow strong and build muscle. Any tips? Well, consistency seems to be key. We are challenged by gym trainer Raphael. Now, depending on if I get healed up between battles, this is gonna change up our strategy here as they send up Rumpig. We have Palmot. How's our Palmot's health? Okay, we are still super low. So, it's a little bit of an endurance, isn't it? Um, we're going to switch over to maybe just, uh, maybe just Masquerade again. I, I just feel like it's the best move. So, Masquerade, we'll just throw out whatever attacks we can and hopefully survive this battle. But there's still quite a few trainers out here. There's three other trainers. Let's get through each one. That's not too much of a problem, but it's more so just a dancing over and over again. It gets a little boring. Okay, we're doing Flower Trick for now because I clicked the wrong button, but. That's still plenty enough just to get rid of Grumpig. Very cute Pokemon now. I wonder if that's what Spronk evolves into, but um, Metacham is next, which Metacham is also fighting. So maybe I'll bring out Talonflame. That'd be fun. Okay, so let's see what we can do with Talonflame against Metacham. Okay, here it comes. Battle and Aerial Ace. Yeah, this is all super effective. So, good to see it. And it's almost a one hit takedown. Acupressure is going to be used against us, which, without raises their base in this very short play. If we could just land this up. There we go. Awesome. Indeedy. I don't know Indeedy too much. I don't know what typing this is or what it looks like. Okay, it's so this one. Pretty cute. So I guess we'll aerial ace you. I don't think this is the best typing, but it still does plenty. It does plenty. So we can just do that one more time if we can survive this. That was a lot of damage, but not too much. There we go. We got it. And because of the shell bell, I guess we get some healing back. That's nice. And that's Gym Trainer, Raphael defeated. Nothing grows faster than a growing kid like you. I guess not. 6,000 er, coins for that, dollars, money, yeah, whatever you wanna call it. Good job, you made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed this test, no doubt about it, congratulations. But you're not done yet. Sprint over to the lobby, staffer on the devil. You have to report your passing grade to formally finish your gym test. That's awesome. So our gym test is passed. We took we took on some emotional spectrum practice. All right, well, that's getting me a little emotional. We're, we're finally through it. Uh, can I do some more? Is that really? You have to report your passing grade to the lobby staff for to formally finish the gym test. Oh, and ESP actually stands for extrasensory perception. Tool made up the emotional spectrum practice herself. Don't get that wrong in a test. I'll be cheering for you in your battle with Tulip, new kid. All right then, so I'll definitely do that, but first, I mean, I guess it depends. Are my Pokemon damaged? Yeah, they need to go get healed. So we're gonna heal them first, and then we will go report to the staffer. Okay, so we're back. I see you completed the ESP exercise, Zebra. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge a gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Tulip, the bewitching beautician? I think I am. I know I have Palma out in front right now, but that might be a good thing. Very well, allow me to show you the to the battle court. All right, so we'll be able to meet today's gym leader and hopefully, you know, defeat them in battle. I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll get things moving here on my end. Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? This person seems quite busy. 
Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. <laughs> I must say, you're a cute challenger, Zebra. I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Don't, doesn't that make you happy? You keep your Pokemon beautiful as, and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important for both people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change your appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. We'll see about that. Nothing's prettier than a smile, right? And I'll have a pretty big one if we win. <laughs> you were challenged by Gym Leader Tulip. And they have Farigaraf, for, for I think? Farigaraf, something like that? You're quite a good base to test my makeup magic on. What shall I use, or use on you? Hmm, we'll have to wait and see. For right now though, I think we'll just start with a spark. And just hit them with everything we got with electricity. It does half of their health, so pretty good. They're reflecting now. Will that do? Stronger against physical moves. I don't know if this is a physical, does it say that? I guess that's what the category is, but I'd assume so, yes. Hopefully it's still just enough to finish you off. It's not quite, so. Zen headbutt's coming in and that might do a lot. Oh, it does a ton, it's super effective. But we just need to do one more to finish you off here. Gotcha. All right, so for a giraffe, I think. Yeah, yeah, for a giraffe, yeah, that makes sense. And we get 48 for Oinkalone, 46 for uh, Talonflame. Uh, Oinkalone is one to move Earth Power. That actually sounds fantastic. So um, let's take a look at it right over here. The user makes the ground under the target erupt with power. This may also lower the, the target's special defense set. That sounds really good. Maybe even better than Dig. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll just put it over Dig. One, two, and ta-da! We forgot Dig and learned Earth Power. And so that way, you know, the ground type moves that we have don't take two turns. They only take one. It'd be amazing. Um, Gardevoir. Okay, so this is where we switch Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure that Masquerado would do fine against it. I guess we'll see in just a moment. If not, it'll just be normally effective. That's fine too. Right, let's give it our best shot. Here comes Gardevoir. All right then, so yeah, it's just normally effective. Then Flower Trick is I think our better bet. Because it has a guaranteed critical. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's so powerful, it's crazy. There goes Gardevoir fainting. And we get some level ups. Uh, Esparta. This is where I keep my current Pokemon. I think that you're going to um, Drassilize this one, right? Ooh, okay. This is definitely Psychic Type. Oh, no, no, they have one more after this. So, we actually caught a Spartha in a previous episode, or a Spathra. Super effective. Here comes a Shadow Ball, though, and that might do some work on us. Ah, not too much, because it's dark against dark. Wasn't expecting that too much. The Reflect wore off. Didn't realize that that was still lasting after that one Pokemon, but super effective there. There's a Spathra fainted. So, what will be your last one? Florgus, but it's probably going to terrestrialize into a psychic. You're just as hard to get rid of as caked on mascara, I see. I need a good makeup remover. Well, let's see if Florgus is up to the task. All right then, so, oh, it's actually, it's in for right now, it's not very effective, but I'm gonna use it anyways, cause come here, my little Florgus, it's time for a makeover. You'll become a new you. I think they're gonna terrestrialize into psychic type. All right, well. Hopefully we can handle it. This should do some good numbers. Yeah, that's definitely the psyche type terrestrialization. Haven't seen it yet, but it looks very cool. All right, then the final battle here. Oh, it's almost a one hit. Come on. The moon blast is coming in though. That's gonna do a huge number on us. So we have fainted. That is so unfortunate. I'm so sorry, Miss Mouscarada, but we can just finish you off with literally anything here, right? I mean, we do have some super fit things like Doxbun. Let's go with Doxbun then, yeah. Finish him off. So, this should be fine. We'll use Lick here. And we, we're done with you. Super effective. That's amazing. A critical hit as well. All the strength there. That's what we want to see. 
Okay, so the beautiful work and we get a bunch of level ups. I'm so sorry that Meowskarata can't get anything there, but they're already a little bit ahead. And Palma wants them to move Discharge. Now is not the best time, but uh, let's see. Um, the user strikes everything around it by letting lose a flare of electricity. This may also lead those hit by the attack with paralysis. Maybe better than Spark then, sure. So there we go, we forgot Spark and learned Discharge instead. And we defeated Gym Leader Tulip. Hooray! Your strength has a magic to it that cannot be washed away. Well, thank you very much. I lost the battle? And your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big break elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little. More for first before I run off and do such a thing. You have earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike you strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Zebra. Well, thank you very much. Out for not a gym defeated, victory run. That's like a little, is that like a swan pose, I think? Maybe they call it. By the way, we get the psychic badge for that. Amazing. We can't hold it as well as they do. They're, using, they're doing it in heels, no less. Wow. With six gym badges, Pokemon at the level 50 will be easier to catch and listen to the commands you give them. If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. Obtain TM120 Psychic. Put that in our bag's TM pocket. The target is hit with a strong telekinetic force to inflict damage. This may also lower the target's special defense stat. Don't go uploading that selfie we just took to social media, okay? <laughs> if you're sure. It was a fine photo of you. I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did out during our battle. I need to fix it fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know? Very well then, you did splendidly today. And so did you, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> All right then, so very, very cool. We defeated another gym leader, that was our sixth one. We are coming up on the end of it quite a lot, but that was so exciting. And we're back, oh, it's the, uh, one of our teachers again, Hassel. Uh, gre greetings once more, Zebra. I was watching your battle with gym leader from with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit, even. Hardly had you you sent out Palma before you launched into your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks. What an efficient way to corner the opponent. And what artfully trained Pokemon! Such a vibrant pile of moves. Ah, uh, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. <clears throat> In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I am eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. If I did a little bit of that next episode, we'll do some more eventually for sure. But there we have it. We've made our way, of course, to the Alphornada Gym and defeated the Psychic Gym Leader. Um, that was Tulip. It was a ton of fun. There's clearly still a lot more to do in this area. I think I'll explore it a little bit more next time around. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.